hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can turn your amazon fire tablet into a complete android tab or at least as close as you can get to a complete android tablet i'm also going to be teaching you how you can install the google play store disable lock screen ads those ads can be very annoying how you can install custom launcher and also disable some of the built-in amazon apps on your fire tablet okay so for the purpose of this video you'll be needing of course your amazon fire tab and a desktop or a laptop one more thing you need is your usb cord because you need to connect this with your amazon fire tablet and your um, laptop so get your tablet ready your um, usb cord and of course your laptop or desktop okay so now let's get right into it but before we do that please kindly subscribe to this channel if you are new here if not thank you so much for coming back share with your friends too and put on your post notifications thank you very much now let's get right into it also note that this method works for amazon tablet produced from 2014 till date that is till 2021 the reason you need your laptop is because you're going to be using an application called the fire toolbox the fire toolbox okay so but before we start using the laptop or uh, pc whichever one you have a desktop or laptop now we need to head over to our tablet because we, we need to enable developer options on our amazon fire tablets okay so you will head right to settings to so go to device options scroll down to get the device options click on it and then go to about fire tablets about fire tablet and you want to click on the serial number about eight times so, it's times to bring out developer options one two three four five six seven eight okay when you've tapped it about eight times just back up one time and then you see see developer options one developer options is active here now so you click on it it's presently off you want to put it on on okay so allow development settings yes 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 click on okay Then scroll down, scroll down. You want to look for USB debugging. USB debugging. You want to put that on too. On allow USB debugging. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're going to head over to our laptop now or desktop, whichever one you are using. This is the um, fire toolbox. I'll put the link in the description below. So you can just click on the link and open it. Okay, so we are here now scroll down scroll down you might want to read through all this scroll down scroll down okay so this actually works this method would work for amazon fire hd6 so all amazon amazon tablet produced from 2014 till 2021 amazon fire 10 and amazon fire 10 plus 2021 this method would work for you okay so we go all the way down to the download section and then um you want to this is version 24 you want to click on portable zip okay so download wait for it to come up okay so to open a to open this file in a google drive just go ahead and download to go directly to your downloads folder google drive can scan this file for viruses okay okay, okay download anyway download Okay, you can see it's downloading already. Let's give it a few minutes. Okay, so it has finished downloaded. We just go straight to our downloads folder. Yeah, this is it. And run it. Choose a file. And go to desktop. Just to extract and update. Okay. So now let's open up the folder. This is the Fire Toolbox folder. Okay, so this is the application itself. This is the Fire Toolbox itself. So let's go ahead and... So yes, the toolbox is open. You might want to read through this. It looks like this is your first time running this build and as a result, no team is currently said blah, blah. Okay, okay so if you might want to come here and set your team and change it, clear blue, 
can get deep red can change it to two let's leave it at this or should we leave it at black terminal default let's leave it at terminal default okay so set thing the team has been applied successfully so it will go on and then yes just wait a bit to relaunch itself after setting the team it's relaunching yes okay so no device was detected please plug in a fire tablet this is where you need to plug in your fire tablet okay so plug in your amazon fire tab into your laptop or desktop using the cable now our device is connected okay you click on okay your fire may not charge while in use that's okay you get this message on your amazon fire tablet allow usb debugging yes because this is my system so i can always choose always allow from this computer okay now let's get into it okay so you can see the various options available for us here this is the um adb shell custom launcher custom sound google assistant manage amazon apps yeah manage amazon apps you can decide to you know uninstall some amazon apps that you don't need Lock screen management this is where you um disable those this is where you disable those lock screen apps keyboard and inputs you know and all these things so first things first let's go into google services install google service execute tool yes so if this is if google play store isn't installed on your amazon fire tablet yet this is one sure way you can do that so let's go ahead and do that now execute tool to download directly and install on your amazon fire tablet downloading okay so we can see everything has been installed wait before you sign into google account okay so it's recommended that we wait for at least 10 minutes we are not even ready to go into that now because we still have you know other things we want to system related apps through the play store okay so ensure you do not update any amazon system related apps through the play store okay all right so we are back here now let's go into custom launcher so this is warning me that i still have some updates automatic updates on my allowed on my tablet so i'm going to disable ota updates now so that whatever i do with the uh, toolbox is not reversed okay so custom launcher to install you will want to install a custom launcher there are so many um there are some options here for us to choose from but um how go with the nova launcher um launcher activation method disable fire launcher yes i want to disable the fire launcher so additional installation options enable widgets yes you know widgets like they appear on android tablets I want them to appear on my fire tablet like that too okay so here we go yes so like we did with the um, google play store it's going to automatically download on your fire tablets and install installing nova launcher and setting it as a default launcher okay enabling widgets support for nova launcher okay so that should do it that is downloaded okay okay so next thing we move to lock screen management yeah we want to disable all those lock screen ads and um, change the lock screen wallpaper remove lock screen ads disable the lock screen change lock screen security type no i just want to remove lock screen ads okay remove execute tool this tool has been made available uh, like to continue with the lock screen ads remover yes okay okay so yes now your tablets will be without adverts okay if you want to do any of this too you can go ahead but i'm not interested in this okay so now we move to manage amazon apps go to manage amazon apps 
and then disable amazon apps go to we have complete the bloat standard and then load from want to do standard the bloat okay execute so wait for a while it's disabling all the amazon recommended apps congratulations okay so it's done now can click on okay okay so we are done here for now you know we have installed the um, custom launcher we have installed google play services we have installed um we have uninstalled some amazon apps some we have uninstalled some Amazon apps that we do not need. And of course, very important, we have removed those lock screen apps. So now let's head on to our Fire tablet and see how this goes. Okay, so we are on to our Amazon Fire tablet now. Okay, choose your initial layout, how you want your tab Fire tablet to look like. Okay, so um, next, choose your theme. You can choose light, dark, auto, you know. Let's go with lights next. So this is a quick setup of your Nova launcher. Choose your drawer style, swipe up, dock icon. I think I prefer the swipe up, apply. And here we have, here we have, this is our um, Google Play Store, as you can see. This is a Nova, um, Nova launcher. You can set it up. You can go through the settings, home screen, you know, six by six or five by six or four by six whichever one you know can go through this work paper scrolling transition effects simple cube that's okay done infinite scroll because we have installed the google play store we can go ahead and um, launch you are offline oh okay so let me connect to my Let me connect to my Wi-Fi. It's on now. Try again. Yes. Our Google Play Store is on. Our Google Play Store is on. So, yes, you can download as much apps as you want from the Google Play Store. These are all the apps I have installed on my Amazon Fire tablet. I did not lose any app. There you have it. Thank you so very much for watching. Do try this and let me know how it goes in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe and put on your post notifications too. Thank you. See you in our next video.